Santiago. The guards are number seven, Brian Trustwell, and number 63, Joel Hildren. The tackles are number 53, Nathan Austin, and number 79, Matt Carlson. Tight ends, 42, Kieran Freeman, and number 15, Cole Price. Fullback tonight is number 38, Corbin Blight. The halfbacks are 28, Aaron Landry, and number 29, Stephen Wordley. Taking the snaps for the Red Hawks tonight is number seven, Matt Hildred. Frontier is coached by Mr. Don Gordon. High School Football and Frontier Community Access Television. Tonight from South Deerfield, it's Booster Night 2017. The Frontier Red Hawks coming out of the field to take on the Franklin Tech Eagles in a battle of a couple of teams that have very strong running attacks and a very tough defense. Hi again, everyone. This is Chris Collins again up in the booth as we get ready for tonight's matchup. This is an inter-county league game between a couple of teams that are looking to make a charge toward the top of the Inter County League North standings. The Red Hawks come in 3-1, and 1-1, one, one and, one, and they've won two in a row after an overtime loss to Greenfield in Red week Hawks. two. And here come your Frontier Red Hawks. come in off of a big win last week against Mahar, 56-34. Uh, the tandem of Aaron Landry and Steve Worley combined for 438 yards on the ground, scored all eight of Frontier's touchdowns. Now, Frontier will not have Bryce Dobas in the lineup tonight. He has a high ankle sprain, and uh, so he is out. So it's going to be, I think, Landry and Worley, the Landry and Worley show again. And Lamatt Hildreth has shown he can throw the football. Franklin Tech comes in 2-2, two 1-1. And two, one and one. They had a huge statement win last week against Greenfield. A very convincing win, 32-14 on the road. And, you know, Tech by most accounts, the midfield. people who were there, Franklin, Franklin Tech, Tech just kind of came into Greenfield and kind of smacked the green wave in the mouth. Number now, they would love to make it two in a row. I think based on history, the Red Hawks come in here with, Hawks, as heavy favorites. Uh, historically, Landry, uh, they have basically handled Franklin Tech. They met just three Matt times Hilton. in history, and Frontier won all three of those games, including last year, 66-28 in Turner's Falls. And the Red Hawk offense this week, year has been averaging 37.8 points per game. So Franklin Tech is going to really have to focus on their defensive effort. They're going to have to use the same game plan that they used to shut down R.J. Bird last week of Greenfield. But as we've known, with Landry and Worldly, you can only hope to contain them. You can't really stop them completely. Franklin Tech will start Franklin the game Tech with the ball and move right to left. Opening kickoff. And again, this is booster night, so we'll be seeing the band at halftime. And uh, looking forward to a great night of football here from South Deerfield as both teams ready for this battle, which could end up, I, I always think, I always kind of think this is kind of a sleeper game just because you never know what Franklin Tech is going to do and what they can do. And if they come in and do what they did to front to front tour, they did to Greenfield last week. This could be a tough night for the Red Hawks. We will see. And we'll get underway momentarily as the band will bring you the national anthem upcoming and the kickoff from South Deerfield. This time we would ask everyone to please rise, remove their caps as the Frontier Regional Band honors America by playing our national anthem.
Okay. We play 11 minute quarters in high school football. Of course, the Franklin Tech Eagles coached by Joe Gamash. Longtime coach. Runs a good program over there. And of course, Don Horton at the helm for the Frontier Red Hawks. Just so want to thank our crew who's here tonight. Sam Finch, Alec Eckel, Kevin Murphy, the executive producer of Frontier, Frontier Community 44. Access Television's High School Sports. Jacob Bryant will kick off. For and I want to thank our sponsor for tonight's uh, our underwriter for tonight's uh, broadcast, number Attorney Dan Graves of Deerfield. He has a practice in Deerfield. He's the town moderator in the town of Deerfield. And call Dan for all of your legal needs. Getting ready to boot it is the freshman, Jacob Bryant, for the Frontier Red Hawks. Back deep is Bailey Young and Spencer Talega. We are about to get underway from South Deerfield. All taking it about the 12. Talega runs it upfield, finds a seam. Brought down at about the 33 yard line. It's good for a 22 yard return for Steve Worley. Franklin Tech, which is where we will start off. Derek DeFore is going to stop for the Red Hawks. Eagles ball first and 10. Franklin Tech, the Tech likes to run the ball. Yard line. But down of to throw, and yet they got uh, Seth Alrich in the pocket. And they have Talega and Young in the backfield. High formation. And he's gonna pass on first down. It's intercepted. Object pass. Intercepted by number seven. And Matt Hildreth. Matt Hildreth. With the interception. And that was not the way that uh, Franklin Tech wanted to start this off. But it's going to be an INT in front. In front two will have the ball in good field position. 45 yard line of Tech. Looked like it was going to be a straight dive play. He decided to throw it. And this is not a good thing for Franklin Tech Eagles to start this game. Step backs behind Hildreth. And motion goes Landry. Inside give. Up the middle for Wordley again. Of course, Wordley went off last week. And he gets down to about the 39-yard line Jerry of Tech. Bergman on stop four. Right, second and four. Gain of six, second and four. I mean, nothing fancy. It's just it's, it's an off-tackle blast play. They'll run the counter frontier wheel from time to time, but basically it's right over one of those gaps. Now it's going to be Hilda throwing on second and first down, second down rather. So he decides to keep it, gets back to the line of scrimmage, out of bounds. Not quite carry. a first down yardage. Looks like a broken Spencer play. On a stop. That's going to bring up third down. Gain and a couple yards. Gain of a yard will be third and four. Yep, no gain actually, so bring up third and four from, again, the 39 yard line of Tech. And that movement. It's going to be a flag. It's going to be against Frontier. With the procedure on the Red Hawks. Five-yard penalty. Third and nine. We'll bring up third and nine from the 44 of Franklin Tech. First penalty of the game for the Red Hawks. Looks like the halfback just jumped at the last second. Same full house backfield formation behind Hildreth. Uh, the pitch is going to go to Wordley. He's got first Keep down yardage. On a, on a carry. Slips down at the Franklin Tech. 32 yard line. First and 10 for the Red Hawks. They're going to spot the ball at about, looks like the 33. That's good for an 11 yard run for Stephen Wordley. Nine minutes to go, first quarter. Frontier knocking on the door. Handoff goes to Landry and a counter. Flag behind play. the play. This might be coming back. And Hildreth on the kick. Yep. Holding on the offense. Holding on Franklin Tech. Number 28. 
Aaron Landry on a carry. That's going to be a back 10. Remain first down. First and 20 from the 43. So it looked like a promising start to a drive in good field position is been held up by a couple of penalties. Inside give. And I believe that was Wordly. Wordly on the carry. Yep. Wordly up the gut. And he's back. Eagle tackle number 65, Curtis Kenzel. It's going to bring up third and, and nine. Eight yards, it'll be second and nine. Excuse me, second and nine, correct. All spotted at the 33. Hill with under center. Motion goes Landry. Pitch is going to go to Landry left side, see if he gets the corner. Nice pursuit by Franklin Tech. And he and is, I think, going to get the first down. Took out the first down marker. I'm pretty sure he got there. Dan Mulvaney on a stop. Very good for Red Hawk yep. first down. We're going to move the chains on that one. Usually when the first down marker Let's goes down like that, frontier from the it's going to be a first down. 23-yard line. Spot of the 24, pitch goes. Again, getting the outside, getting the corner. Tough to bring him down. Wordly again. Great speed once he gets the outside. That's going to be first down. For another Red Hawk first down. First and goal, Frontier. It's going to be first and goal from the 10. First and 10 from just outside the 10 yard line. Yep. Actually, it's going to be spotted about the 11, so. They have one more first down to get for first and goal. Motion goes. The inside give goes to Worley as uh, Landry went in motion. Worley on a carry. He gets down to about the six. That's going to bring up second. Mike Tobias on the spot. Gain of five, second and five. Side game is going to go to Landry up the Aaron middle. Landry touchdown. Red Hawk. Touchdown. Six yard touchdown run touchdown by Landry. Landry. Just like that, it's 6 0. The only thing stopping the Red Hawks on that drive was penalties, but they made it count and they are in for six. The Frontier draws first blood. 6 0. Two point conversion upcoming. Be a handoff inside, and they got it. That was worthy. So come back up the field with the score: Frontier eight, and Franklin Tech nothing. This is Red Hawk football on Frontier Community Access Television. That was an 11 play drive, good for 55 yards, or 45 yards rather, and it chewed up almost four and a half minutes of that clock. Ryan kicks it off, taking it about the 10 by Talega. Still on his feet, and he's brought down at about the 37-yard line for a 27-yard return, which is where the Franklin Tech Eagles will take over first and 10. Franklin Tech takes over first and 10 from the Tech 38-yard line. Again, Franklin Tech had only off only one offensive play in that first series, and that was intercepted by Hildreth. I would expect they'll keep the ball on the ground. Try and get some offense generated here. As they've, they're in a hole right now, 8 nothing. And the handoff is going to go to Young. And he gets stood up. Maybe gets a yard. We'll see. Young on the carry. Brandon Trustwell on a stop for the Red Hawks. And they're going to say he did get uh, got a couple, so it'll be second and eight. Second and two, second and eight. Ball spotted at the 40 of the Eagles. 
I formation behind Seth Aldrich, the quarterback for Franklin Tech. Inside give to Talega. Talega on a carry. And he gets bounced back and maybe got a yard. We'll see where they spot it. Again, the line of Frontier always very strong. Joe Hildreth. We got two on that one, so we got on a stop for the Red third Hawks. and six in two from the third 42. and six for Franklin Tech. Clock is in motion, 5.28 to go, first quarter. Aldrich is going to roll out on third down. Rolling right. Fires it downfield, and it is incomplete. Aldrich's pass intended to number five, Tony Goldman Jr., incomplete. It wasn't a bad pass, just good defense there. And it's going to bring up fourth and six and a punting situation. Well, a coverage for the Red Hawks. That'll leave the Eagles a fourth That's and a pretty six. typical uh, formation From the Franklin Tech. On, uh, on the third and long. It wasn't really a long line. third and six. They'll tend to run two run plays and then try and throw it on third down. That time it didn't work. And uh, Aldridge will go back to punt for the Aaron Landry. Back deep is Landry for the Frontier Red Hawks. For the Red Hawks. Low snap, and he's able to get it put it away. And it's going to go nowhere near Landry. It's going to bounce out of, out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. At the Frontier 17-yard line, where the Red Hawks take over first and 10. So second yeah, series now for the Frontier parents the Hawks. The last drive took off about four and a half minutes off the clock. 5.07 to go in the first quarter. Red Hawk marching band. Ball is spotted at Frontier 17, like we said. Same set for the Red Hawks. Stephen Worley on a tackle. Worley again. Spencer Talega on a stop. Off right tackle. The Eagles. And you know, they're getting four, five, six, seven Three yards. Eight, second and two. Every time. That one was good for eight. Second and two at the 25 for the Hawks. Hildreth. And give again inside. And this is Landry. And Landry is actually Wordley. Wordley off to the races. Are they going to get him? No, they're not. Touchdown. 75 yards for Steve Wordley. And that makes it 14 to nothing. 75 yard touchdown stamped by number 29, Stephen Wordley. Well, it looks like another long night for an opposing defense against the Frontier Red Hawks. As Wordley, he gets that corner and he gets it clean. There's nothing between him and the end zone but imagination. And that time, that was all that was there. 14 0. Two point conversion. Two point conversion upcoming. Pitch goes to Landry. Off left tackle. And Landry is he in? Is no not good. go. One gets stopped, but we'll come back up the field with the score. Frontier 14, Franklin Tech nothing. This is Red Hawk football on Frontier Community Access Television. Jacob Bryant to kick off for the Red Hawks. Number five, Tony Grover. Only two Jr. plays on that drive. Number 42, Spencer Talega. Look for 73 mid yards. That's the 83 Ford yards, Eagles. excuse me. Capped off by a 75 yard touchdown run by Steve Worthman. And it is 14 0. Bryant to kick it. More frontier. Back deep, Talega and Young again. Taking it about the 12. To Talega on the return. Talega runs it back up. Just outside the 35 yard line. Good for a 23 and yard Logan return. And stop for Frontier. And that's going to bring up first and 10 for Tech. Franklin Tech ball first and 10. At the 35. From the Eagle 35 yard line. 
Tech has yet to get the ball out of their own end, except with the punt. But on offense, they have not crossed the 50 yet in this first quarter. High formation set again. And the inside give goes Talega to Talega. And he gets about four yards. We're at second and six. Joe Hildreth on a stop. Daniels. Spotted at the 39 yard line. Second and six. Three fifty-three to go, first quarter, 14-0 on touchdown runs by Aaron Landry from six yards out, Steve Worley from 75. This is gonna go to Young, he slips and still moves ahead. And crosses the 40 up to about the 42. Brandon Trustwell on a stop for the Hawks. It's good for a three yards, so it's gonna be third and three. Gain of a couple yards, it'll be third and three for the Eagles. About the 42-yard line. Franklin Tech. Defense! Defense! And this is Booster Night 2017. Defense! Defense! And uh, we extended, I think, uh, halftime show. I formation set again. Far side wide out is Grover. TB Govin. Flag down. And. Uh, Bailey Young this on the might carry. be a free play. Let's see what they call. Offside on the Red Hawks. Five-yard penalty. Defense. That'll give That's the Eagles be a first, first down. down. So first three penalties 10, for tech. 20 yards already. And that gives the Tech a first down. From the Eagle. At the 48-yard line. Looked at the 47, which is a five-yard penalty. So first and 10 from the 47 for Franklin Tech. Three penalties for Frontier in this game, none for the Eagles. And off goes to Young. Then he barrels up ahead Young past midfield and into Frontier territory. It's good for about five yards, it looks like. Matt Hildreth, Stephen Wardley on a stop for the Red Hawks. I'm gonna make it four. So that's going to be second and six. Second down and six for the 49. Franklin Tech. But they are the past half field in into frontier territory. Counter run the other way. He's going to go to Govan, and he has got first down yardage. They spread the offense pretty well on that one, so that's the first first down. The second first down, actually, of the game for Ten Eagles. Franklin Tech. And they are inside On the, frontier, the 40. Yard, 36 yard line. The 36 of Frontier. That was good for. Fourteen. Young up the middle. Off right Young tackle, but gets stood up. And Matt Hildreth, Steve Worthley on the stop. Might have got back to the line, maybe a yard ahead. That's where they spotted. They're going to give him, actually, they're going to give him four yards. Yeah, four ahead. yards, second and six. Second and six from the 32 of Frontier. A minute 11 to go in the first quarter, 14 nothing Red Hawks. Oh, Aldrich is going to get sacked way off. back at the 45 yard line. By number 10, and Garrett DeForest. Busting in there to make that play was Garrett DeForest. That's going to spin them back. This is a loss of 13. Third down. Bring up third and 19. Third and 17 for the Eagles. From the frontier, 44 yard line. High formation again. And he's going to go back to throw again as Aldridge. Aldridge pass. Pass incomplete. Coming for number 42, Spencer Talega, incomplete. That well, was a little screen, and that brings up fourth down. With 23 Eagles seconds left. Fourth and 17. Yeah, that drive was looking promising there for a while until that sack. 
they started to move the ball with a little more regularity. And they're going to punt it, try and pin Frontier back deep in their own end. As Aldrich to boot it away for the Franklin Tech Eagles, trailing 14 with a low snap, ball loose, and covered. And it's going to be a turnover on downs and a gift for the Frontier Red Hawks at the 41 yard line. First and 10. So things go from bad to worse for Franklin Tech as the Red Hawks get the ball at the 41 yard line of Franklin Tech. It's a loss of 14 yards there. The motion goes Landry. Hildreth is gonna pass on first down. Bombs it downfield, incomplete. Pass was intended for Cole Price. Well covered. Jared Bergman on a coverage for and that'll bring up second and ten. Eagles. Second and ten for the Red Hawks. Well, nothing wrong with trying a few things. You're up by two touchdowns late in the first quarter. 9.7 seconds left to go in the first quarter. And Hildreth can throw the ball. He's got a lot of opportunity to do it because there's such a great running attack Frontier has, but he can chuck it when need be. Pulls backfield again. And the pitch is going to go to Wordley. See Wordley on the carry. And he is brought down at about the 38-yard line. Gained about three, and that will be the end of the first stop. quarter. We help from Dan Momani. And that's played one quarter, quarter here at the here at Frontier South Deerfield. School. On the scoreboard, Frontier 14, Frank will take nothing. This is high school football on Frontier Community Access Television. Kevin Murphy, Alec Echo, and Sam Finch out here in South Deerfield on Booster Night 2017. Frontier Red Hawks with a pair of rushing touchdowns lead the Franklin Tech Eagles by a count of 14 0. Aaron Landry ran for a six yard touchdown run in the first quarter, and Steve Worley, a 75 yard scamper. And that is the difference right now. It's going to be third and eight. That ball is spotted at the 39-yard line of the Eagles as we start this second quarter. So far, no penalties on Franklin Tech. Three for 20 yards on Frontier. And the pitch is going to go inside. And Landry still on his feet. First down territory for sure. Those, those legs just never stop. And he is deep into Franklin Tech territory. Ball spotted just outside the 20, it looks like. First and 10 Red Hawks from the Tech 21 yard line. 21, actually. And it looks like Wordley again. I think he's got first down yardage. Nope, got about seven on that one. We'll be on a carry gain of seven yards, second and three. Second and three from the 14 of Franklin Tech. This is about as uncomplicated an offense as you're going to see. Just straight dive. A couple of passes here and there, but mostly it's been Landry and Wordley. Fake the pitch, inside give. Aaron Landry. Landry's got first down yardage. Tim Fritz on a stop for the Eagles. Oh, he's close to the first down. Not third in the yard for right there. Frontier. It's good for two. Third and one from the 12. As the march continues for the Red Hawks. Straight downfield. Not a whole lot of resistance, it looks like. 
Worley with the handoff inside. And he is inside the 10. It's going to be first and goal. First and goal, ball spotted just outside the five yard line. Yeah, about, actually, right about the five. First and goal for the Red Hawks. First and goal from the five. Inside give. See Wordly. Wordly again. Is he in? If he's not, he's close. Okay. Down to the one yard line. It's going to be about Second a yard short. For, for four yard run. Second and goal from the one. Clock continues to roll. Red Hawks about to go up by three scores in this one. And the give inside. And the end. Touchdown. Touchdown. Red Hawks. One yard run for Landry makes it 20 to nothing. Looks like they're going to try and kick the extra point. Hildreth will kick it. Kick is up. And no good. Wide right. We'll come back up the field with the score of the Frontier Red Hawks 20. And the Franco Tech Eagles nothing. This is Red Hawk football on Frontier Community Access Television. So the Frontier Red Hawks are now up by three scores. 8.19 to go in the first half. Landry, his second touchdown of run of the night. Landry has had two, and Wordley has had one. And they will boot the ball away again to the Franklin Tech Eagles, who are in a hole. Well, kind of a pooch kick out of bounds. I don't know if that was an attempted at onside kick. Flag down. They'll either take it there or re-kick it. We'll see. The Eagles will take over first and ten. And so it will be a takeover for where it was. It's going to be the fourth series for Franklin Tech. Last series they had some movement of the ball, but got derailed by a pretty massive sack. And they're going to spot the ball at the inside frontier territory at the 47. 47 yard line. Tech Eagles. Their quarterback. Seth Aldrich under center. Split backs behind him. And the kid is going to go to Young. Young up the middle. And he is stood up. It's inside the 45 to about the 44. It'll be a pickup of about three. We'll bring up second and seven. Second and seven. From the 44 of Frontier. Less than eight to go in the half. 20 zip Eagles. The far side wideout is Bergman. Split backs again behind Aldrich. Little draw, play to Talega. Talega's got first down yardage inside the 35 to about the 34, so good movement. Of the ball by the Eagles. Matt Hildreth good for a first down. Very good for a Franklin Tech first down. Just about the ball at the 33. 32 yard line. But that was good for an 11 yard gain for Talega. Neither team has completed a pass in this game. It's been pretty much an exclusively a run attack on both sides. Aldrich, the pitch goes to Young. Young cuts Young back, bang, he gets hit hard. About a yard ahead of the line of scrimmage, he got walloped. And uh, looks like they're gonna... Loss of a half a yard. Yeah, he lost about a half a yard. We're gonna call it uh, second and 11. 
at about the 34 of Frontier. Did not see him made that hit, but that was quite a smack. Aldrich under center. And Gibb goes to Young. A little cross, actually, Talay got a little cross play. Talega on the carry. And he's inside the 30 yard line. To about the 29. For the Hawks. Good for five. It'll bring up third and six. Third and six. And the 29 of Frontier. Six minutes to play in the half on Booster Night 2017 in South Deerfield. Going back to the power eye formation. And this is going to be, oh, fumble. fumble on the play. handoff went to. Recovered by number five, Tony Govan Jr. Govan Jr. And he just lost control of it. And that's going to drop him back. That is a loss. For the Eagles. Yeah, loss of probably. Now let's say probably six yards on that one. So it's going to be fourth and 12. From the frontier, 34 yard line. From the 34. They're going to go for it. What do they got to lose? Down 20 nothing. And Aldrich is going to throw on fourth. And Aldrich with stiff arm, but he gets sacked. Oh, and a late hit out of bounds. Flag. Out of yep. Flag on the play. Yeah, that was a late hit for sure. Out of bounds. Donovan Hoffman came in and wailed on Aldrich, and that probably is going to be 15 and a first down. For Franklin Tech. Aldrich slow to get up. That infraction happened at about the 41. First yeah. foul on the Red Hawks. It'll be a 15-yard penalty and automatic first down for the Eagles. It didn't look like it was an attempt to, attempt to injure or anything. It just was one of those situations where he arrived late. The guy was out of bounds and defenseless. So that's going to bring the ball down to the to 20. From the first and 10. 25-yard line. From the 25 of Frontier. I formation again. Gonna give goes to Young on Young left tackle. Carry. Bulls ahead to about the 21. And that's gonna bring up a second and about six. Ball spotted at the 21 of Frontier. As that late hit foul extends the drive. Aldrich with the pitch to Talega. Talega looking for the corner. He's got the first down. Some more yardage, and he's going to run it in. Touchdown. Spencer Talega with a 21-yard touchdown run to break the shutout and make it 20 to 6. So Talega got the corner, and Franklin Tech is on the scoreboard with 4.05 to go in the first half. And once again, the Frontier penalty extended that drive. It looked like they were going to sack Aldrich back for a loss and turn it over on downs. Two-point conversion attempt upcoming. Aldrich is going to roll left. They'll keep it. Does he get in? Seth yes. Aldrich, Aldrich with the two-point conversion run. We'll come back up the field the with the score. The Frontier Red Hawks 20. Franklin, Franklin County Tech 8. This is Red Hawk football on Frontier Community Access Television. Not a bad drive there by Franklin Tech. As they go 47 yards on eight plays. And it was a drive that was extended by that late hit penalty out of bounds. 
on Aldrich as he was hit after being sacked. And Tech will kick it off. And Frontier will receive for the first time. Landry and Worley back at their own 10. Tobias with a lefty boot for Franklin Tech. Taking it about the 15. And it's a seam. And actually, that was Eda McMillan. Brings it back up to the 45. Good return. Good for about 36 yards. There is a Franklin Tech eagle down behind the play. And just for a second, though, he's back up. So Frontier will take it over at their own 45-yard line, just under four minutes to play in the first half. Red Hawks, first and 10 from the Red Hawk 45-yard line. Some new faces in there, it looks like, in the backfield. The motion goes Landry. They fake the handoff. Hildreth keeps it. Gets a block from Landry. A great block. First down. Yardage and more. Hildreth still on his feet and steps out of bounds at about the 34-yard line. So Hildreth with a nice run. Supported by a good block by Landry in that misdirection. And that's going to be spotted at the 34-yard line of Franklin Tech. From the Tech 34. Good for 21 yards for Hildreth on that run. The motion goes wordly. Inside give. Landry on the carry. Goes to Landry. The counter run. Curtis Kenzel on a stop for the Eagles. And that's going to be good for... Couple of yards. Gain of two, second and eight. Franklin Tech has defended that counter run pretty well. They've been, they've been reading it really well. Of course, there's a lot of different misdirection that this Frontier offense uses on those runs, but the counter is one that's especially effective if it's run right. It's been defended well by Franklin Tech. Hildas is going to roll out. Fires it downfield, incomplete, nearly intercepted. The pass was intended for. Kieran Freeman. Freeman incomplete. Third and eight for Frontier. That'll bring third and eight from the 32. And I want to thank our underwriter for tonight's game, Attorney Dan Graves of Deerfield. He's Deerfield's town moderator. He is also a private lawyer and practicing Greenfield. See him for all of your legal needs. Third and eight, 3.11 to go in the half. The motion goes wordly again. And again, Hildreth is going to pass on third down. It's complete to Landry. Touchdown. Great little pattern by Landry. And it's a 32-yard touchdown pass. And that makes the score 26-8. Touchdown pass for Frontier. That was uh, much better than that in terms of post patterns. Hildreth now. Inside give. The two-point conversion is good. Worldly with the run. That makes the score 28 to 8. We'll come back up the field as the Red Hawks are rolling. Frontier 28. And Franklin Tech 8. This is Red Hawk football on Frontier Community Access Television. So the third touchdown of the game for Aaron Lander, this time through the air from Hildreth, a 32-yard touchdown pass. Wordley's two-point conversion run makes it 28-8. to eight. And the Franklin Tech Eagles, Brian or the uh, Frontier Red Hawks, are only nine points off of their average the this season. Lega picks it up at the 20. Runs it up left side, brought down at about the 41-yard line, good for a 21-yard return. return. 
which is where the Eagles will take over first and 10. They spot it right at about the 40. First and 10. 2.55 to go in the half. 40 yard line. Frontier comfortably in front. Franklin Tech will try and narrow this widening gap. Now right formation again, double wideouts near side, whistle. Time and timeout on the field. Frontier. Take the break, 255 to go in half. 28-8, Frontier in front. This is Frontier Red Hawk Football on Frontier Community Access Television. Chris Gallins, Alec Gecko, Sam Finch, and Kevin Murphy, the executive producer of Frontier. Sports on FCAT as the Red Hawks in timeout. Talking it over as they lead the Franklin Tech Eagles by a score of 28 to 8. This one has never been in doubt. Landry with three touchdowns, two on the ground, one in the air. And Wordley, a 75 yard touchdown run. Spencer Talega has run for the only touchdown for Franklin Tech. And it was followed up by a two point conversion run by quarterback Seth Aldridge. First and 10. And Aldrich is going to throw on first and 10. There's a deep ball complete. Pass complete to number seven. It Jared goes to Bergman. Jared Bergman, Eagles the Miller flanker. Completion into Red Hawk territory for an Eagle first down. And that brings the ball down to the 29 of Frontier. That's good for a. 31 yard hookup. High formation again. Aldrich is going to throw it again. Aldrich trying to roll out. Pass uh, nearly pass intercepted. Very close to being in, intercepted by Wordley. Well, the pass, pass defensive Eagles. frontier has been suspect. Although the first week they played against Palmer. They were expected to get thrown on, and they handled that pretty well. But if there is a weak link in this defense, I think it's the, the secondary. 29-yard line. Second and 10. From the 29 of Frontier. Aldrich rolling back again. Screen pass. Screen pass too far ahead. 24, Bailey Young incomplete. Of Young. That's going to be up third and ten. Timeout called by Franklin Tech. First Joe Gamash wants to talk it over and set it up. Likely to see Frontier and Franklin Tech throw the ball a little more here. As that uh, 31 yards on that pass play to Bergman was the best offensive spurt. Certainly the longest offensive spurt. Offensive play of this game for Franklin Tech. Again, it is booster night. The band is lining up on the far sideline. We'll have the band at halftime and come back for second half action. Hard to believe we're already into booster. Booster time. Fall is flying by, although it doesn't feel quite like fall. By the way, speaking of uh, an achievement in Frontier Athletics. Congratulations to Ella Dean, who the other night we were happy enough to be able to be there for her thousandth assist as a volleyball player for, for Frontier. Great honor, great Third accomplishment for, for Ella Dean. Step back formation, two wide outs on your side. And now a whistle right, and a flag, and that's probably going to be on tech. Procedure around yep. the Eagles, five-yard penalty, 3rd and 15. Uh, push the ball back to the 34 yard line. That's the first penalty of the game on Franklin Tech. Two nineteen to go in the half, 28-8. Frontier with the lead. And Franklin Tech pressing. Going back to the power eye formation. Handoff inside. And this is again going to go to Govin. 
Matt Hoger, Steve Worbley on the stop. And he got back to pretty close to the original line of scrimmage. Gain him a couple yards. It'll be fourth and 13. Yeah, back to about the 32. That's a game of two. Fourth and 13. Injury timeout. Ovan's coming out a little bit shaken up. Inside of two minutes to go in the half. And they're going to go for it on fourth and 13. They're in four down territory inside Frontier, frontier uh, 40. And then a whistle. DF time. I need a trainer to go over and check that kid out. Govan got banged up pretty good on that tackle. Give uh, the Eagles time to talk it over again. Make sure they are all on the same page regarding the play. High formation again behind Aldrich. And he's going to roll out. And he's going to get hit. Oh, Aldrich, once again. Steve Worthley. Shot out of a cannon. And that's going to be a big turnover on downs, big loss. Uh, back to about the 43-yard line. That's a loss of 11. The second sack of this half. Actually, the third sack, if you count the one that the penalty happened on. And Frontier will get the ball back from their own 43-yard line. Minute 28 to go in the half. And same set, Floss backfield. Flag. Play procedure on Red Hawks, five yard penalty. Yep. First and 15. This is the, the penalties have not been a good news for Frontier in this half. On my count, that is their fifth penalty. Good for 45 yards and a half of football. And it's not going to make Coach Gordon very happy. Falouse backfield again. And then Hildreth rolling out under pressure, sacked. He's still on his feet though. But he's going to go down. About the 37 it was a late player that came flying in for Franklin Tech. Just barely missing a late hit there, but that's a sack. First one for Franklin Tech. And the first major loss of yardage for Frontier in this half. Nine yards, second and 19. Ball is spotted back at the 34. Loss of four, and again, Worldly gets hit in the backfield. Frontier is going in the wrong direction here. Third and twenty-five. We'll bring up third and twenty-four from the twenty-nine. Twenty-three seconds left, and the Frontier smart. They're just going to let this run out. That's a good uh, defensive near, uh, activity at the end there for Franklin Tech. But they still go into halftime with a big gap. And they're going to take a knee, and that will be the end of the first half. The end of one half of play, it is the Frontier Red Hawks 28 and the Franklin Tech Eagles 8. Second half action upcoming on Frontier Community Access Television. Souvenir stands are open. Cheerleaders have a raffle going on and will be entertained here at Boosted Day by the Frontier Marching Band.
The Frontier Band has students from grades 7 through 12. Tonight's a special homecoming event for them. They want to recognize the students who are in their final season with the band, the seniors. The band seniors this year and their families will come forward to receive their band cakes. Seniors are Camden Barnes, Joe Cajon, Ella Dean, Noah Graves, Joey Lawton, Patrick McGranigan, Emily Menard, Leah Peon, Griffin Trott, and Annalise Zero. Congratulations to the Frontier Band Seniors. about a nice hand for the Frontier Band Seniors. Hand for the Frontier Band and the leadership of Max Sherrill. Getting ready for second half action here for Frontier Regional School. Frontier Red Hawks lead the Franklin Tech Eagles by a count of 28 to 8. Frontier with Four touchdowns in that first half. Three from Aaron Landry. Two on the ground and one through the air. And Steve Worley, a 75-yard touchdown run 
Some unofficial stats from that first half. Wordly, 13 carries for 151 yards on the ground. And Landry, six carries, 49 yards. And Matt Hildreth, two carries for 21 yards. Hildreth, two or three passing for 32 Mike yards. Tobias One of them. The only we'll completed the pass. For the Eagles. Or the Landry, touchdown, actually, one of three McMillan passing. The completed pass was to, to Landry. For the Red Hawks. A 32-yard touchdown run. Frontier will get the ball back to start this second half. The bias to kick it away for the Franklin Tech Eagles. yard line. Cut back up across the grain. That's Ido McMillan. Ido still on his feet. Crosses half field. Ido still going. McMillan down the left sideline. Is anybody going to touch him? Cuts back across. McMillan flagged behind the plate. Probably a block in the back, but Ido McMillan almost took that to the house. By my count, that is an 89-yard return. But the flag came down at the very end, but they're deep in Franklin Tech territory. Back in the back by the Red Hawks to be a 10 yard penalty. First down, Frontier. So, block in the back. But that still sets up Franklin Tech in a really good field position deep inside the Franklin Tech territory. Edo McMillan, the speedster, broke a couple of tackles. Red Hawks, first and 10. They mark it back the to the 35-yard line. line of Franklin Tech, which is where they will start. So that's about actually more like a 79-yard return, yard return, but it's great field position for Franklin Tech. Stephen Wordley on a carry. Wordley, a right tackle. First Long down yard, it's flagged behind the play. It's either going to be a hold or a block at the back. Tonight's winning 50-50 number. It's going to be a hold. 521-7750. 521-7750. You can claim your prize here at the press box. And as always, the Frontier Parents, thank you for your generous support. So the penalties have not been good. That's the one part of the game tonight that Franklin, uh, the, the uh, Frontier Red Hawks have really been bad in terms of ten yard penalty on the Red Hawks. We made first committing down from fouls the front, from the Franklin Tech 40 yard line. Inside give again, Worthy. And he's gonna be close to first down yardage. Tony Govan Jr. on the stop. But this was a problem against Palmer as well. It was Again, the one, 50, the one number, thing that five, two, they didn't one, do well. Seven, seven, five, they committed zero. a lot of penalties. It's going to bring up dollars. second and five, two. two one, seven, seven, five, zero. Ball Find spotted the at, the press box. at the 26 of Franklin Tech. First Did down yardage Wordley for Wordley again. Sam Trudeau on a stop for the Eagles. Carry good for a Frontier first down. First down spotted spot at the 22 of Franklin Tech. It's good for a four yard gain for Wordley. On the Tech 22 yard line. Inside give again. Well, that time and Franklin Landry Tech Landry. read it nicely. And they stood Landry, Landry up. That hasn't goal. happened a lot tonight, but it did Eagles. that time. And they knock him back at least a yard. So the half a yard, second and 11. Ball spotted at the 28 of Franklin Tech. Clock is in motion. That was a really fast first half. Usually is when the ball's kept on the ground as much as it has been. Uh, 
Landry. Oh, it's like a broken play. Landry with it now, up the middle. And I'm not sure it got anywhere. Looks Chris like on the side no gain. No gain on the play. Third and 11, 11. 28, Franklin Tech. So after that great return by Edo McMillan, the Red Hawks appear to have stalled. Of course, a couple of penalties haven't helped. Hildreth keeps it on the fake and the option. And he's close to first down yardage. That was a good little fake. Definitely got the uh, tech defenders to bite on that one. And that's going to get him up. Uh, five. It'll be fourth and five for the Hawks. Gain of six, fourth and five from the 22. And they'll definitely go for it here. Up 28 8 inside the 20, inside the 30. Hildreth keeps it. Looking for a corner, looking for the end. I think he's got the first down, I'm pretty sure. Carry good for a Red Hawk first down. Yep. For the first and goal. First and goal, Hawks. Spotted at about the seven yard line. On the Franklin Tech six yard line. I give. It's like Landry. Is he in? Touchdown. Touchdown, Aaron Landry. Fourth touchdown of the game for Aaron Landry. And that makes it 34 to 8 in favor of Frontier. Seven yard touchdown run for Aaron Landry. So despite the mistakes of that, uh, that series, a couple of penalties, they still were able to march downfield. Hildreth to kick it. Snap is down, kick is blocked, ball is loose, and it's gonna get smothered. Conversion is no good. So come back up the field with the score, Frontier 34, and Franklin Tech eight. This is Red Hot Football on Frontier Community Access Television. Back so Frontier the gets in the end zone again. A great, good drive started off by a tremendous return by Edo McMillan. That got deep into the red zone and they pushed their way through and they get six more points. That was a little squib kick covered by Franklin Tech. Give them good field position at about the 42 yard line. So the Eagles will touch the ball for the first time on offense in this half. That drive chewed up, 40 yards again, long. about four and a half minutes of the clock. So time becoming a factor if Franklin Tech wants to mount and come back here. All was spotted right at the 40-yard line of Franklin Tech. formation again and off goes to Young Young on a carry and out past the 45 to about the 47 Donovan yard Hoffman line. on the stop for Frontier Good for about a 7 yard gain gain of 8 oh, good mate. second and 2 Second and two from the 48 yard line of Franklin Tech. Clock is in motion again. Just under six minutes to go in this one, in this third quarter actually. And booster night. High formation again behind Aldrich. Inside give. Looks like it's Talega. going to Talega. Up the middle into a. frontier territory. Tech first down. It's going to be good for a first. 
Oh, it's about Eagles. the 49 yard line of Into Frontier. Red Hawk territory from the Frontier, 49 yard line. Is alone back, trips to the left for Aldrich. It's going to roll out, fire it downfield, and it's going to be intercepted by Hildreth. His second interception of the game. Nice job by Hildreth, playing a little bit of uh, center field there. And again, that's two interceptions for Hildreth on this game. And so Frontier will get the ball back. And it'll be inside their territory at about the 25-yard line. First and 10 Frontier from the Frontier 25. 5.02 to go in the third quarter, 34-8. Frontier with the lead and the ball. Worley goes in motion, flag down. Flag on the play. Legal procedure, procedure on the offense. Up, five yard penalty, first and 15. That's the eighth penalty of the game for Frontier. And they still have a 34 8 lead, so it hasn't affected them on the scoreboard, but if you're a part of this Frontier coaching staff, you're not liking that statistic at all. Hildreth, inside give, and up the middle, Aaron Landry, Landry with the run. That negates the penalty Dan and a couple more stop. points. It's going to bring up second yards, and be second four. And five. Second and four from... That was good for a nine-yard thing. Ball spotted at the third. Hildreth rolling right. Got the first down and more. Hildreth exploding into Franklin Tech territory. Took a wicked hit at the end, but he's inside the 50 to about the 48. into Franklin Tech territory for a Red Hawk first down. That was good for 22 yards by Hildreth. Just rolled out. He's shown some good explosive speed in this game tonight. And Red Hawks from the Eagle 48 yard line. And the give goes to Landry, right side. Worthy on Actually, the Worthy. Good for a first down, so the Frontier Red Hawks just continue to chew up yardage. That was good for 12 yards. Jared Bergman on the stop. Brings up first and 10 at the 36 of the Eagles. First down, Red Hawks. Showing up yardage and time off the clock. Hildreth to roll on first and 10. Timing pattern. Oh, down the left sideline. He had Landry and just couldn't Over corral it. And four, Aaron Landry incomplete. And I'll tell you, if Landry pulls second that in, that's his second touchdown through the air in this game. That'll bring up second and 10. At the 36. And by the way, if you want to watch any of these games, football, volleyball, soccer, field hockey, FCAT Media page of YouTube.com. Find all of our stuff up there, all of our productions. Inside give. To Landry, not much there. Landry on the carry. Maybe a yard, but about yeah, 35. Maybe on a stop. No game, third and 10 for the Hawks. They didn't do anything, so third and 10. Three minutes to go, third quarter. Frontier knocking on the door yet again. Pitches 
to Landry. Landry. It was brought down once again at about the 35 yard line. Ludwig on the stop. So front two is to here. Front protects defense as red. Got some good reads here. But once again, no gain. Fourth and 10. At just outside the 35. And front two will go for it here. In motion. Pitch goes to Word. Leaves got some blockers. And is not going to get the first down. Wordly on a carry. Short Brought down at about the 30, down. so it'll be a turnover on downs. Jerry Bergman on a stop for the Eagles. Will they take over first and 10? That is the first time that's happened tonight for Franklin Tech. Ball's going to be spotted at about the 30 yard line. So Landry got six, but did Eagles not get the 10 he needed. Red Hawk from the Tech 30 yard line. Let's see if the Eagles can put up some offense here. High formation, double wide out to the near side. And pitch is going to go to the right side. Spencer Talega. That's Talega. Kill Griffin Woodley on the stop for the Red Hawks. And he picks up probably four yards on that. Four yards. Second and six Second from the 34. A minute 36 to go in the third quarter. Split backs, double wide out to the new side. Pitch goes on the left side to Young. Bailey Young on a carry. And he's running out of bounds, short of the first down. Knocked out of bounds by number 10, Garrick of Forest. It's about a yard. Gain of maybe a yard, it'll be... 35. 35. 35 of Franklin Tech. The Tech Eagles. Formation again behind Seth Aldrich. Aldrich inside give. Young and the carries. Young again, he gets wrapped up. Shy of the first down. The fourth. Matt Carlson on the stop. Yeah, mm, a couple of yards on that one, and it's going to bring up fourth. Gain of a couple of yards. And four three. three for. And that's going to be the end of the third quarter. They're not going to get this playoff, I don't think. They're going to try, though. And they did get the playoff. Pitch goes to the right side. And, a carry. and it was Young, and he Steve stopped Worthy shy stop. of the first down. It's going to be a turnover run down. It's not going to be the end of the third quarter. We have played three. For South that's Deerfield on booster day at the end of the third quarter. It's Frontier 34. And Franklin Tech, eight. Frontier, Red, Red Hawk football on Frontier Red Community Red Access Tech Television. recognize and give a good hand for the Frontier cheerleaders. Nice job, ladies. So Frontier will get the ball back at the 41 of Franklin Tech, moving right to left to start this fourth quarter. Eagles first and 10 from the 
Franklin Tech 41 yard line to start the fourth quarter. You're right. And that was a first down, so the Eagles will start it. Aldrich fires it downfield. Intercepted by Landry. And he is down, so that's the third interception of the game. First by Landry, which were by Hildreth. And so the Franklin, the uh, Frontier Redhawks rather will take over. First and 10 at their own 26. So the Redhawks with the ball, their own 26. Flag down. And a penalty is going to be on Franklin Tech. I think they had too many men on the field. So that'll move it up a five yards. First and five from the 31. Franklin Tech, first and five for the Hawks. Hildreth hands it off over right tackle. It's going to be Landry again. Stop. Carry good for a hawk first down. First and ten frontier from the frontier 39 yard line. First and ten from the 39. Pitch is going to go on the left side. Aaron Landry on the carry. Landry again. He's up past the 45 to about the 46. Chris Ludwig on a stop. It's going to bring up second and three. Get off tackle. This is Wordley, first down Perry. yardage. Jared Bergman on a stop. Terry Good for another Red Hawk first down. First Nothing front fancy here. at all here. Just Into straight dives. At the Until you can stop it, you keep doing it. 46 yard line. It's a game of seven. Time out on the field, we'll take the break. 9.41 to go in the game. Frontier with the lead in the ball. Hawks lead 34 6, 34 8 rather. This is Red Hawk Football on Frontier Community Access Television. Once again, I want to thank our underwriter for tonight's game, attorney Dan Graves of Deerfield. He is Deerfield's town moderator. He is also in private practice in Greenfield. Check Dan out for all your legal needs. And if anybody out there watching would ever like to underwrite some of these Frontier games that defray our costs, give me a call at 665-0012 or drop me a line by email at chris, C-H-R-I-S, at F-C-A-T.TV. First and 10 Red Hawks, 46-yard line First and 10 Frontier from the Eagle, of the Franklin line. Tech Eagles. Hildreth, inside give. Fumble on a play. Actually, it was a fumble, and did they recover it? They did. Fumble recovered by Returned Tech. by Franklin Tech's number 58. It's first fumble Devin of the game Gaucher. by either team. And it's first a turnover. Ten, Franklin Tech at midfield. Tech will take it over just inside the fifth, not actually right at midfield. Formation again, the near side wideout is Bergman. And rolling right is Aldrich being pursued, fires it downfield, nobody near him. Incomplete under heavy coverage. That'll bring up second and ten. Second and ten. Oh, 
Aldrich has been rushed almost every time he's tried to throw the ball in this game. Sacked a couple times. And picked off three times. Twice by Hildreth and one by Landry. Second and ten. Split backs behind Aldrich for the Eagles. Pitch goes to Talega right side. Talega gets the corner. He's still on his feet. Close to first down yardage. Puts his head down and rams forward. And he's not going to quite get there, I don't think. Sam Heber got a stop for Frontier. Good solid run, though, by the young man. And he gets about nine yards. So third and one for Tech. 41 yard line of Frontier. And an injured player down. I'm not sure which player is down over there. I can't quite see on the far sideline. Joe Gamash is out there. Looks like it's a Franklin Tech player. Joe Gamash is out there. He, of course, has been at the helm with this Franklin Tech team. This program has come a long way under Joe Gamash's leadership. And one of the things I love about covering Franklin Tech, both for the newspaper and in games like this, is they're tremendous kids. They just are very, very solid football players, solid people. And I've watched this program take a beating over the years, and they never get cheap, they never get dirty. Great attitudes. It's a really solid, solid group of kids. And if that was Talega, that's a big loss. Hopefully he's not seriously hurt. It's gonna be third down and a long one. Ball spot at the 43, the 42 yard line, so it's going to be third and two. Inside handoff goes to Young. He's got first down yardage and more still on his feet. And gets popped at about the 35 yard line of Frontier. Andrew Logan on the stop for Frontier. Carry good for a step first down, first and ten from the frontier, 35-yard line. Clock in motion, 8.24 to go in the game. And the Eagles are pushing here, trying to get another score on the board. The only score for Franklin Tech was a 21-yard touchdown run by Talega. Aldrich to roll out on first down. Fires toward the end zone. And... Is it intercepted? Is it incomplete? What do they say? Pass is complete. Complete. That should be a touchdown. If not, it's very close. That pass went to Bergman. Bergman on a reception. First and goal for the Eagles. So a long completion, first and goal from about the one. Yep. That's good for a 34-yard hookup to Bergman. First and goal from the one. Looked like it might have been a pickoff, but Bergman out-wrestled him. First and goal from the one. First and goal from the Frontier One for the Eagles. See if he sneaks it. Nope. He's going to hand it off to Young. Young is going to go off left tackle touchdown. Bailey Young on the touchdown carry. Touchdown for run from Bailey Young. And that makes the score 34 14. Eagles will attempt the two point conversion. So Aldrich to Bergman with the hookup, setting up first and goal, and Young finishes it off. High formation for the two-point conversion. Bergman, pass over the middle, 
incomplete. So come back up the field with the score. Frontier 34. Frank will take 14. This is Red Hawk football on Frontier Community Access Television. So Bailey Young with a one yard touchdown run. Incomplete pass on the two point conversion makes the score 34 14. 7.26 to go in the game. Landry and Eel McMillan back deep for the Frontier Red Hawks. Aldridge will boot this ball away. And they're going to go for a onside kick covered by Hildreth. Hildreth returns it back up to midfield for about a seven yard return, which is where the Red Hawks will take so over. First and 10. First and 10. From the 50 yard line. Right at midfield. Fourth series for the Red Hawks in the second half. They lead by 20. Comfortably in front. And then I guess they'd like to punch in one more for insurance. Split backs again behind Hildreth. And then the inside give counter run to well, Landry. Landry gets the corner, out of bounds, picks up maybe five Landry yards. And a carry knocked out of bounds by Tony Goldman Jr. Carry into Franklin Tech territory, gain of five yards, it'll be second and five. They're gonna actually give him four, it looks like. Second and four from the 46 and a half of Franklin Tech. Same formation. Inside give. Flag behind the play. First down yardage, but I think it's coming back. Holding on the Red Hawks. Holding on the Red Hawks. Ten yard penalty. It will remain second down. So second and 14. And that will bring him back to the 45 yard line. The frontier. 15 from the Red Hawk, 45 yard line. That is the ninth line. penalty. And at least 65 to 70 yards unofficially with the penalties tonight. Let's get a handoff up the middle. Wordly close to first down yardage. He was one tackler away from the end zone. And that's going to be very close to a first down. Third and one for the Red Hawks. But they're going to say no. It's going to be third and one. Line. That's good for a 13 yard run for Wordley. And that's first down yardage. Wordley deep into Franklin Tech territory. Chris Ludwig on a stop. Carry good for a Red Hawk first down. First and 10 from the Franklin Tech 25 yard line. Ball on the 25. This goes to Landry. Landry up the middle. Off tackle, oh, first down the yardage, game. inside Spencer the 20 to about the 15. The first down, Red Hawks. Ball is spotted at the 15. Wordly again. And down to about the five yard line. That should be first and goal, I think. Second down in less than Second a yard. Second and one, okay. Landry, left side. Aaron Landry, and touchdown. He is Red in. Hawk. 
Touchdown, Red Hawks. Six yard run for Landry. And that makes it an even 40 to 14. That is Landry's fifth touchdown, his fourth rushing tonight, his second from six yards out. Two point conversion attempt upcoming. Actually, no, they're going to kick it. This is Hildreth to kick. Snap down, kick is up, and I think he made that one. Kick is good. So we'll come back up the field with the score. Frontier 41, Franklin Tech 14. Red Hawk football on Frontier Community Access Television. So Frontier will boot it away. 425 to go on this one. Pretty much academic as the Frontier Red Hawks are going to win this game. Barring a Major meltdown. 24, Jacob Bryant to kick Bryant off. to boot it away. Talega and Young. Back deep. Tony Gomez Jr. It's going to be picked up to receive. At about the 14 yard line. And they're going to bring him down at about the 35. Good for about a 21 yard Andrew return. On the stop for Frontier. Which is where Franklin Tech, Tech will take it over. From the Eagle, 35 yard line. Spotted at the 35 of Franklin Tech. Split backs again behind Aldrich. And a little counter run there. Junior. And up past the 40 to about the 43 yard line for the run. Derek DeForest on the stop. For Govan. It's a gain of about nine. Second and one. Second and two. Second and two from the 43. Clock is in motion. 3.45 to go. Split back formation again. Behind Aldrich. Inside give, good for first down yard. Just past the 45. That's the Lega. The 47. Good for a four yard run. From the Eagles, 47 yard line. Is still moving. High formation again. And it's going to be inside give to Young. Young again pushes his way up into Talega frontier to territory with Talega actually. And to about the 48 yard line. Six yards, second and four. Fire from the 48 of Frontier. Pitch goes to Young, and that time he gets hit at about midfield. Bailey Young and a carry. Loss of a maybe a yard. Stephen Wood, they got to stop. No gain in the play. Actually, say no four. gain. Third and five from the 48 yard line. About two and a half minutes to go here in this one. Tech would like to punch in one more. Next slam pass is a bit of a lateral complete. Pass complete to Dovan. Dovan and uh, completion close to an eagle first down. Yeah, that was more of a lateral. It's going to be a first down. First down, Franklin Tech from the frontier, 43 yard line. Good for five. First and 10 from the 43 for Franklin Tech in the Frontier Territory. Aldrich to fire it downfield. And Hildreth was the one closest to him in his third pick of the game, but incomplete. 
bring up second and ten for Frank. Second and ten. And the 43 of Frontier. comes Landry, or the Wordly rather, pass incomplete. Pass. Actually, that was, uh, number it wasn't Wordly going in, that was uh, actually Garrett DeForest who was closing in. Third and 10 for the Eagles. Third and 10 from the 43, 143 to go in the game. And a pretty dominant performance tonight by the Frontier Red Hawks. The Landry and Wordley show. Last week it was Wordley that saw the end zone a lot. Tonight it was Landry. Whistle. Timeout, Frank on tech. Tech will take the timeout. We will too. 143 to go in the game. Frontier 41, Tech 14. Red Hawk football on Frontier Community Access Television. That was a quick 30 second timeout. So Franklin Tech comes back up to the line. Talking it over, split backs, two receivers to the near side. Handoff goes inside, and Taliga gets tripped up, bangs the ground, not happy with himself. Lost his footing. And that's going to be no gain. So fourth and 10. No gain on the play, fourth and 10 for 43. down. Fires across his uh, body and the pass, pass is complete. Is complete. And it looked like complete to 89, Kobe Melu. Completion yep, Melu. for an eagle first down. And where is the ball going to be spotted? It's like about the 16 yard line. First and 10 eagles. The Red Hawks 16 yard line. Aldridge's pass. Intended for Jared Bergman, incomplete. Second and 10. 36.5 seconds left in this one. That pass was good for 27 yards. from Aldrich to Melu. Oh, I see they want to get a different ball because I think the ball's a little bit wet. It's a little, a little bit misty out here. A little condensation. So we get a fresh dry ball here. That formation again behind Aldrich. It's going to roll out again. Takes the pass, fires across his body, and it is incomplete. Aldridge's pass is incomplete. We'll bring up third and ten. Broken up by Kiernan Freeman. Third and ten for Franklin Tech. All spotted at the 16 of Frontier. Under 30 seconds to go, 27.8 seconds to be exact. Split backs. It's going to be an inside handoff to Talega. It stood up. And he gets to about the 14. Joe Hildreth on a stop. Timeout. Called by Frank. going to bring up fourth and about eight. From just out inside the 15 of Frontier. Quick timeout. Tuck is going to uh, do their best to punch one in here. 
make the score a little more respectable. This game has not been in doubt since probably midway through the first quarter. So just fourth and nine for Tech. Tech's got some good ball players. Just overmatched tonight by once again, I think arguably the best running game in the league. Even without Bryce Dobas in there, Dobas of course did not play an ankle injury. Wordley and Landry, and now Hildreth, who's run the ball quite a bit tonight and very successfully, has been the combination. 20.1 seconds left in this one. Aldrich will roll out again. Quick screen pass over the middle, and the pass is incomplete. And that will be a turnover on downs. 89, Toby Melu. Red Hawks take over first and 10 from the own 14 yard line. 15 seconds left. And Frontier will probably take a knee and run the clock out here. Hilda takes me, and that's going to do the game. Final score from Frontier Regional School on Booster Night. Red Hawks defeat the Franklin Tech Eagles by a count of 41 to 14. Big night for Aaron Landry. Four touchdowns, three on the ground, one through the air. Stephen Worthley had a 75 yard, actually, I, I struck that. Five touchdowns for Landry. Four on the ground, one through the air, and Worthley, a 75 yard touchdown run. Touchdowns for Talega and Young for Franklin Tech. But the Red Hawks win big at home on Booster Net. Final score, Frontier Red Hawks 41, Franklin Tech Eagles 14. Thanks to our underwriter, Dan Graves, local attorney from Deerfield. And thanks to Sam Finch, Alec Echo, and Kevin Murphy, the executive producer of Frontier Regional Sports. I'm Chris Collins. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time. Red Hawk Football on Frontier Community Access Television.